Welcome back! Last week we did the speedy version of Esperance to Margaret River and we've now finally arrived in the Margaret River region, now at Hamlin Bay. Hamlin Bay is known for a, a lot of its massive sort of rays that swim uh, parallel to the shore and are really inquisitive of humans. So it's the weekend, super busy, super sunny, but incredibly beautiful. Yeah, so we're gonna go check it out and see if it is worth the hype. We decided not to wear shoes on this walk up. How good, Glenny? Ow! <laughs> Ow! Shark rocks everywhere! Ah. How cool are these rock formations? What? This is nuts. This is just around the corner from Hamlin Bay. You just walk right through this cool little pathway. So cool. And there's Hamlin Bay. Nice. Hamlin Bay, done and dusted. Good day, what do you think? Yeah, just really busy on a weekend. Try and avoid it if you can. Yeah, with middle of the day of the Saturday, got pretty busy to say the least, a lot of families, but the stingrays themselves were so cool. They were really cheeky, really big. Massive, actually, yeah. Yeah, um, so that was fun. Definitely worth checking out, I would say. And now we're further, we're driving further north up to Margaret River. We'll be staying at our friend Tom's place. So we went straight to the beach. Glenn and our friend Tom, who we're staying with in Margaret River, are out in the surf right now. Just captured some fun shots of them. It's only like 10 o'clock and it's such a good day. So we're probably gonna be here for a while. Maybe go to another beach, I don't know. But it's so beautiful and there's a really good wave, so it's fun to watch as well. One of the things that we've very quickly learned about Margaret River is that, well, basically this whole stretch of coastline is that there are so many surf breaks, it's insane. Still waiting for a small enough wave for me to go on, but there are so many surf breaks. So if you're into surfing, this is definitely a good place to come if you haven't heard about it already. So many waves.
Bunker Bay was so pretty. Afternoon swim. Yes. So nice. Get me in there. Woo! <laughs> nice. So it is a pearl of a day. Absolute beauty. So thankfully um we've met a few people through our mate Tom in the area and one of the guys has offered to take us forward drive into these sort of rock pool things, I believe. It's a pretty good cool beach spot, so we're just getting a couple things ready. It's gonna be weird not having Vance, actually. Um, but we'll just pack a bag, grab a coffee, and then we'll meet him here to go on a bit of an adventure today. Where are we going? I can't remember the name, Boron Up, Boron Up Beach, Boron Up Rock Pools. I think there's a specific name. We'll put it somewhere. Okay, how cool are these pools? Oh my god. So secluded. Alright, had a pretty fun day and we decided to go into the Boron Up Forest to stay at a campsite here. Um, the campsites are first come first serve and it's probably like five o'clock right now and we managed to get a spot. There are plenty of other spots as well. Really nice and secluded. So pretty. I think it's about $11 per person, which is still expensive, but it's probably the least expensive paid places in this area. Um, and I think we're just going to make some soup for dinner because we can't be bothered actually cooking anything up. Uh, have an early night and then tomorrow we're gonna do a really pretty drive around here because there are a few tracks that we can go down uh, and just spend time in the woods it's nice we haven't really been in the woods or this type of nature since oh gosh I think like tropical north Queensland so it's a really cool type of vibe and I think we're just gonna soak it in tomorrow so it should be nice We're up and at it. Yesterday was a really good day exploring the Boran Up, or Boran Up, Boran Up. It's not Boran Up, it's Boran, 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 Boran Up, apparently. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> anyway, that was really fun uh, with our friend Ben. Definitely check it out if you have a four wheel drive or a friend with a four wheel drive like we do. Yeah, it's beautiful there. Yeah, really nice. So now the reason I'm out of breath is because we're parked down at Rivermouth, yeah, Rivermouth Beach, and we're walking across to this cove that our friend Tom took us to in a four-wheel drive. So we're just going to walk there, which is part of the Cape to Cape track, which is a really popular hiking trail. It takes a few days to do the whole thing, but this is just like, I don't know, 10-15 minute walk. 
we check think. out. We think, we don't really know. <laughs> We're just kind of hoping. Um, so it just goes along the coast. It'll take us to some really pretty coves to check out. And hopefully we'll spend a bit of time there. We don't even know if we can get down onto the cove, but it's a good day to get out and explore, right? Yeah, get some steps in. Yeah. So it's like the least amount of wind we've had, I think. Super duper sunny. Make the most of it. So sunny, so nice. Basically, right when we got down here, the clouds came. I don't know if you can tell. Blue sky, and then right behind me is a bunch of clouds. But look at that blue sky. Oh, it's such a tease. Really hoping the sun comes back out because the color of the water here is incredible. I know we say that every time. <laughs> Maybe that's just a thing in Australia that the water is just amazing and I haven't gotten used to it, but. It's so beautiful. This is such a pretty little cove and no one's here. So nice. Oh, sun came out. Look at that water. Wow. All right, just had a really nice swim. The water is so warm here. It's, oh, it's amazing. It's beautiful. Oh my God. Might go for another dip, I don't know. It's really good. But I'm pretty hungry. Are you hungry? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I might stroll back. I don't know, it's such a beautiful day. If the cloud stays away, it's teasing a bit at the moment, but if the cloud stays away, we'll probably have a pretty good day just sort of cruising around Margaret River, I guess. Yeah, maybe there's surf. Do you think there's surf? Maybe. We shall see. There's always surf we'll around see. here. We'll see. We'll just do some more exploring today. It's good. Yeah. But first, lunch. Oh, yeah. Coming back out of that. That's hard, Yaka. It's just just all soft sand and then all like the limestoney bits like break away. I can confirm going down is a lot easier than coming back up that. Holy moly. Time for lunch. You good? <laughs> I made a friend. Yeah. Oh. Can we keep him? Made a nice little salad. Gun's having his banana and peanut butter wrap. Always a favorite. Of course. Of course. So, fun change of plans. Our friend Bernie, who works as a tour guide at one of these really cool lake caves, said that there's some space in his last tour of the day. So, we can join in and we're gonna go take a look at these really cool caves. I don't really know exactly what they are. <laughs> There's like the main road that goes like north to south uh, is called Caves Road and there are a number of different caves on it. We didn't really know exactly what they were all about um, but apparently they're really worth checking out and then he's a guide so it's supposed to be pretty cool. I'm keen to, keen to have a look. Yeah so we're gonna go learn about some caves. <laughs> This is epic. Like 10 polar bear. This is so cool. Heading into the caves. We're about to go down that. Stoked Good to check out. Stoked to check out the cave. Oh my god. <laughs> Whoa. Is that it all? Afternoon on the beach, watching the sun go down over the ocean. We're back where we were this morning at Rivermouth Beach. Yeah, beautiful little spot. Not many people about. See the day out here. Alright, that wraps up our time in Margaret River. 
really had a good time here. I think it was really fun meeting new people and sort of getting a bit of like into the social scene here a bit, which we haven't had too much on the road. Yeah, it's almost like, because we've actually now spent a few weeks here, but a lot of the stuff we haven't really captured because it's been more so meeting a lot of people and a lot more social stuff. It's been like a taste of being a local again, which is kind of funny. We just sort of like fell into this, just a super hospitable group of people. It was just, it's been so, so much fun. Like just such a fun part of our trip. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to think what would be like our top places. Top thing to see. I think Hamlin Bay is a must. Just yeah. trying not to do it on a weekend. If you have a four wheel drive, Burana Beach is just beautiful. That's a, like, it's almost a must. Like yeah. it's so pretty there. Um, surf absolutely everywhere. Yeah. So just go bananas. Yeah. <laughs> there's a, there's always a wave here somewhere. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think those would probably be our top, um, places to eat. Market River Bakery is really good. Market yes. River Brew House is also really good. Beer Farm is a fun brewery. We didn't check out any of the wineries, but if you are into wineries or if you're into wine, there are so many here so as many. well. So we know just... nothing about that, so no comment. <laughs> <laughs> there's just a lot to do here, which is really great. So we definitely recommend. The whole Southwest is just incredible. It's really blown mm. us away. But now we're getting ready to head up to Perth for a bit. Yeah, it should be really, <laughs> it should be really fun. So our friend Tom, that originally we rushed over here for, that left a while ago, he's up in Perth getting his uh, boat ready. So. Mm. We're going to go up there, spend some more time with him, explore the Perth area, probably go check out Rotten Est Island as well, hopefully on his boat. A few other people we've met down here that are now back up at Perth, so we're pretty keen to see, catch up with them. So we're not too sure exactly what Perth has in store, but pretty excited. The weather is awesome for the foreseeable future. Fancy that. <laughs> I can't believe it. So next episode, we'll be up around the Perth area, having a bit of fun and checking all that out. See you then.